Oi, my good tenor, we all need endo and we need a lot of it. That's right, in this video, we're going to go over every possible way of making endo in Warframe. Let's get into it. Firstly, Ayatan sculptures. Now, these can be acquired from doing normal missions and you will randomly find them just lying around. Often people will ping them in public missions, but as you go along in your playthrough, you will find them every now and then. But these are quite rare actually until you unlock arbitrations, which I will go over later on in the video. So if you are a newer player, I wouldn't suggest solely looking for Ayrton sculptures. I would say just progress in the game and you will slowly gain your endo and then work towards arbitrations. That is the best thing that you can do if you want to get endo fast in the beginning. Very important, very important, do not sell Ayrton stars. For the newer players wondering where you sell Ayrton sculptures, you can go to the mod section in your orbiter, then you go to Ayat and treasures then you go to Maru's bazaar on the bottom right and then it takes you straight to her which you can exchange your sculptures there for endo remember do not exchange your stars you need to keep them for sculptures then you can also do a weekly ayat and hunt as well to get yourself a free ayat and sculpture you can watch a video there's plenty of videos out there explaining how to do these weekly ayat and hunts the next method is excavation although i wouldn't recommend this method this is one of the ways to get ender tier 3 excavations have a 25 percent chance of dropping 400 ender on rotation a this method is is all right i will admit if you need to farm cryotic as well as some relics as well so yeah it's average but it does work depending on where you are in warframe and what you have access to guess what yep it's that time hit that like button and subscribe to see some more thick warframe content next dissolving duplicate mods this comes by just playing the game you can build up a shit ton of mods as you play and then you just dissolve them i have recently dissolved a lot of mine it is a great way to get instant endo especially if you need a few thousand quickly a quick tip if you are on mouse and keyboard if you press middle mouse button you can select all of them at once just be careful not to dissolve a rare mod that costs a lot of plat so if you're not sure about a mod, just check it on Warframe Market because there's nothing worse when you accidentally dissolve one. It sucks. Then we have bounties. Now this is a method I would recommend for newer players to grind until they unlock arbitration. This is the go-to in my opinion. Firstly, the tier 5 Deimos bounty has a 45.45% chance to drop 1000 endo for stage 1 of the bounty. Keep rinsing and repeating this method and you will actually farm quite a lot of endo per hour as each stage should take you about 2-3 to three minutes to do so. So the way to do this is you go in, do the first stage, go out, extract. Don't complete the entire bounty, just do stage one. Stage one, the whole time, rinse and repeat, and you will gain quite a bit of endo. You'll find out that you'll also get a lot of stars as well. It's really good. If you are struggling to find a frame and weapon to do so, grab yourself a Serata or Ignis Wraith and use Nezha and Rhino. This is the best budget option. I don't have builds for those frames, just build how you would normally with those. And then for the Ignis, just build a whole bunch of heat. Here is the budget Serata build that I use. Then you have zaramon bounties which has a 4000 endo drop chance on the stage 5 bounty however this is quite a low chance of getting 4000 endo but if you are grinding the bounties it's a great way that you can possibly farm some basically background endo passive endo per se because you're focusing on getting the plumes instead the higher tier the better and you want to wait until the exterminate comes along for tier 5 so that you can do these super quick and farm it faster next we have arbitrations now these are unlocked when you have unlocked steel path arbitrations is by far the second best method for farming endo in warframe now this is usually done with a full squad and a meta squad usually looks something like a wisp with vault thermal sunder and a mirage with total eclipse and then a sarin to give you buff however this is another video for another time if you guys want me to make an in-depth guide on how to do the meta arbitration squad please let me know in the comments down below and i will work towards it then we have the best endo farm in Warframe right now. I have made an in-depth guide on how to do this farming method. It is called the arena. Now this method is a bit tedious because it takes quite a bit to set up and you have to get a pre-made squad to do this method efficiently. Please do not try this method solo. It is not worth it. If you are a solo player, then grind arbitration. However, to briefly go over it, to do this as a base level, you need to get a Korra with low range, a Nidus to pull in the enemies, and two Necros. 
Then you want to use a high slash weapon or the Ripkas with a decent ribbon. I will put a card up in the top right to show you the video where I go in depth of what you need. Anyways, moving on to the next method. Now this method is quite a weird one. I wouldn't suggest this to you unless you are not planning on doing any sisters or liches at all. And even then I would suggest just sell them for plat and then trade them for items sculptures. However, did you know that you can actually dissolve max level requiem mods for a thousand endo each? Kind of interesting. I feel like this is something a lot of people don't know or maybe that's just me. But anyway, don't do this unless you really need the endo and you're not doing any liches or sisters. Otherwise, it's not worth it at all. Another way of farming endo, which is the last method I'll be going over, is doing railjack. When you complete Railjack missions, you collect scrap parts that have three tiers, and these can be scrapped to get Endo, but be careful when scrapping tier threes as they could be good ones for your Railjack. Also, the crates in Railjack missions will always drop 15 Endo per crate, which is not a lot, but if you're doing Railjack a lot, then it's actually pretty good. That's pretty much all the methods of farming Endo in Warframe. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see some more. I'll see you on the next one.